Hey all you chinchilla lovers out there, I am going to tell you how I litter trained Lexi to pee in her litter box. She does pee in her playpen every once in a while, but that's sort of like a marking her territory thing and that's something that I can't break. So yeah, let's just get started. Please excuse the mess in the bottom of her cage. Everything else is clean because it's easy to vacuum. But this, most of the stuff falls through. There's just some like loose hay and toys and stuff down here. So I started out by putting Carefresh because in the cage she was in before when she was living with my boyfriend. If you don't know the story, you can go check out my chinchilla cage setup that has everything. I have explained everything in that video. But she lived with my boyfriend for a while in a small cage, in a hundred dollar cage, and then when she decided, well, when my mom decided that she can move out here, we bought her this chinchilla mansion right here, w equipped with playpen and all. I'm sitting in the playpen right now. And so yeah, she started out using just straight bedding in the other one, and then she got here and I put about, oh, this much bedding in there. I never actually intended on litter training her. I just thought, okay, if she'll use the litter box every once in a while, that will cut down on my litter changes, or my um, bedding changes, excuse me. So yeah, I never intended on that, but it just kind of happened. So yeah, and I just slowly started to use less and less bedding until um, my mom came into my room one day and she's like, it smells like pee in here. And I'm like, well, that's because you want me to use less bedding. And then I had already purchased the litter box and the critter litter. So I'm like, okay, well, I know which corner she pees in. Cause I had done the research and found out that they only like to pee in a specific corner or two. So I found the corner that she was peeing in the most and I put the litter box in that corner and I sat with her for like an hour waiting for her to pee so I could give her a treat the first time she ever peed in her litter box. So the litter box started out in this corner and like I said when you're down to about like this much bedding put the litter box in and try your hardest to wait for them to use the litter box and then give them like a raisin or uh, small treat so they can eat it while they're going to the bathroom in their litter box and they kind of associate that first time with oh I'm gonna get a treat so I never I think I gave her a treat probably right away the first time she ever did it and one other time but that was about it so it started out in that corner and then I found out that she only used her litter box like when I took out the bedding and then I put some bedding in the other corner with baking soda which is where this is now and she didn't use that she only used her litter box so I'm like okay well after about six months of her litter box being kind of all muffed up and sitting like cockeyed on this ramp I decided okay well I'll try and move it and see if that works so yes it works she uses it in this corner and she uses it in this corner and she come to say hi Hi, sweetie. You gonna come out? Nope, you don't want to? Okay. So then I moved it to this corner, and then I figured, okay, well, I'll try it next to her bed in this corner, and that worked. The only thing that I do as a precaution that I would strongly advise you to do too is c put something else in all the corners. Probably, like, this is just a um, Nossum Hut. A little Nossum Hut, the small size or the medium size. And she doesn't pee on them. I actually had fiddlesticks in one corner and she peed on the fiddlesticks. So I had to get rid of those. But she does not pee on these houses, actually knock on wood. She hasn't yet. So when I decided that the critter litter was too much, like too expensive to be changing all the time, I decided to move on to cat litter. Yes, I've been told, oh my gosh, cat litter, the dust, it'll harm her nose and it'll hurt her respiratory system. Well, that's only if they can dig in it. With this grate, she she doesn't get to the litter. You're just being really inquisitive. And I'm sorry, this video is kind of all over the place. 
but if you listen, you can kind of understand, right? And if you have any questions, comment below and I'll answer those for you. So yeah, I just use um, Fresh Step scented litter and that seems to work very well. And then you just scoop it with like a normal cat scoop. And as long as they can't get to it to make dust, they're absolutely fine. So make sure you have a grate if you're going to use actual cat litter. And actually, I would say make sure you have a grate regardless because she tried to eat the critter litter. Oof! They just about fell. So, yeah, for chinchillas, I'd say have a, have a corner litter box with a grate. So, like I said before, I'm sorry this video is sort of all over the place. I wish I was more, like, planned with it, but I come up with them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to shoot them right now. So, yeah. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll answer those. I did get a request about a video about her personality, so that'll be up soon. She's giving you all kisses. Actually, she's just trying to chew on my iPod case. So yeah, I'm shooting this with my iPod because I don't have editing software at the moment. So when I get that, you'll get the cute little video of like all her pictures and paralyzer intro and all that fun stuff. So yeah. So thanks for watching and commenting. I had a comment. Oh, there she, there, this is how she uses her litter box. And then she just kind of wipes her butt off <laughs> and you can see where she used it. So yeah, personally I like it and I would recommend it and I would recommend this way to train them too. And she likes to sit behind me. These are all of her toys in her playpen because she's a little munchkin. Don't chew on my pants. Oh, now you're getting mad at me. You don't want me to touch you. Don't want me to touch her. She's giving you all kisses. Slash trying to chew on my iPod case. Anyways, for like the third time, I'm going to try and end this video without her doing something really super cute. So thank you all for watching, and please comment if you have questions. Comment if you have cute little... That was kind of cute. You're sitting kind of funny. Eek. So yeah. Lexi, will you say bye to your viewers? Can you say bye? She says bye! Just kidding. You have to say bye to your viewers, Lexi. Bye!